Alright, so what is good everybody on YouTube? This is of course your boy B Bullet RC coming to you guys again with yet another Oh you did and listen man the weekend is almost over so you already know what time it is it's time to get into this week's heat oh. Right, where we get into the latest sneaker releases, sneaker rumors, or anything I want to talk about in the streetwear or sneaker world, that is what we do here today. And remember, if I don't talk about a shoe, either I forgot about it, didn't edit it in, or was just that. Basura. That. I did not want to expose y'all to it, but this week, I got that double Basuda pack hot and ready fresh out the oven for you basuda boys is back the basuda pack is in and of course i'm gonna expose you to it as always make sure y'all drop a like on this big sub up if you haven't already and finesse the bell as well we got a lot of stuff to cover this week even more leaks even more fresh rumors some more confirmations on stuff that is actually dropping later on this month and a big sample drop but we're gonna get to that in a little bit listen i don't want to waste no more time let's go ahead and get into this week's heat or hype first up for this week i just want to let y'all know y'all got time we're doing a pre-order on them we wanted to make sure that anyone that did want to get a pair could get a pair because I already know how hard it is just to get a pair for retail these days. But the sample look C sneaker is available right now. The pre is gonna be going on for a few days. After that, it is a wrap. So if you didn't know, now you know a link is down below slide bars. The look C sneaker is available for a limited time. Again, we wanted to make sure we did a pre-order on this shoot just for anyone that did want to get a pair that they could get it for retail in and out easy now we got some big news later on as far as restock goes and as far as yeezys go but for right now we have a new leak and that there is going to be a mauve or mob pair of the yeezy 700 v2 releasing later on this year in august 2021 now we've seen this before where they take a colorway off the v1 and then put it on the v2 i believe it was the inertia v1 and they stuck that onto a v2 of course i think people like the v1 just a bit better so the v1 definitely did better that inertia v2 i felt like it sat around for a little bit just because of that higher retail price of the 700s at 300 but now with them dropping the price down to 240 it might be a different story plus Feel like people like the mauve colorway better than the inertias anyway but since this is just a rumor for right now i'm gonna leave it at that that's the mock-up this is what the shoe should look like when we get some leaks some of them early photos i'll let y'all know getting into the next one we actually got a collab between brain dead and reebok on the reebok zig Connecticut 2. now there's actually two colorways and both of these are dropping on the 23rd if i'm not mistaken on reebok.com retail on these is going to be 160 but this is like the zig man collection the zig man collection of the zig Connecticut 2. let's just call it the zig for right now because i feel like saying Connecticut all the time but yes there are two colorways coming out a lighter colorway and a darker colorway with kind of like this outer space alien theme to the shoes both of them were just an interesting shoe that i saw this week not something too crazy but i did want to at least point them out and i did kind of dig that lighter blue yellow and kind of cream colorway but there's also the black colorway as well again though no, just something out of left field i wanted to mention getting into some fresh fresh jb leak news we have a brand new pair of 14s blam y'all see them right here and these are being called the winterized 14s now as far as the color code on this one goes it says archaeo brown multicolor multicolor so again fresh leak fresh rumor this is just what we got for right now but when the shoe does drop when we get the actual shoe photos or the leak photos it could look a little different now just from this picture right here not something i would be interested in it's kind of got brown on the mid so i'm assuming that's that archaeo brown then you have the whole upper is this weird pinkish red color then you have the red hits on the back and on the side of the ferrari jordan logo I don't know about this one. Since we just got the mock-ups, I'm going to leave it at that for right now. Y'all let me know what y'all think about these. I think when we finally get those leaked images, I think the shoe is going to look better than what the mock-up is making it look like right now. Another fresh leak is another pair of Halloween Nikes. Last week, we talked about the Dunk Low as well as the Air Force One, and it now seems to be a Nike Dunk High. Now, this is a very early on mock-up of the shoe because from this mock-up and from what it looks like right here, doesn't really look too halloweeny to me last year when we first seen the all orange with the black skeleton joint those air force ones they got very very close to what the shoe is going to look like and i hope these look better 
in person. I'm hoping that some type of material flip, maybe the red is kind of like a weird red. It looks like a brain pattern or something on the side. I don't know, but it's just not feeling Halloween-y to me from this photo. Now, since we don't have to worry about these until all the way out into October, I'm gonna leave it right there. Heavy leaks, heavy rumors, take it with a grain of salt. Y'all know how it goes, let's get to the next one. We also had a brand new SB Dunk Low appear out of nowhere, and this is gonna be an FTC Skate Shop collab. Now, the FTC Skate Shop is the only skate shop that was the ones that got the Grateful Dead Bears in. Y'all remember when the, you know, y'all remember that release, y'all remember the Grateful Dead Bears. So FTC was the only skate shop that had them joints in store from what I know, and now they're actually getting their own SB. Y'all see them right here. The outside on that white, it seems to be kind of like a white quilt type look. And then you have a really nice blue suede or blue felt maybe. Then on the inside, looks like some yellow, maybe satin silk guts. Then you end it off with the silver swoosh. It's not a bad SB, but not an SB that I would see myself, even if I did cop, really wearing a lot. And when I say wearing a lot, I mean, I probably wouldn't wear these joints at all. I'm very picky with the SBs that I really go for. And this one for me in particular, will be a pass, but there's no info on these yet. They just popped up, probably be dropping later on this year. Getting into the next shoe, we got another pair of dunks, but this time it is a dunk high and it is not an SB, but it is an LA Lakers theme Nike dunk high. And I believe this is part of a three pack because there's an Air Force One high that I believe is like LA Dodgers theme, as well as an Air Force One low that is Raiders theme as well. Now, one detail that I did notice on this shoe that I thought was pretty dope, which made me do some Googling is that on the tongue there is actually a sports specialties logo and for anyone who's into vintage gear vintage snapback sports specialties is going to be a name that immediately rings a bell did some googling and nike actually bought sports specialties back in like 93 i believe so to see this logo come back on the shoe was dope i immediately remember you know the has snapbacks and vintage joints i'm still into it so to see that logo appear randomly on some dunks was dope and on the whole collection in general now as far as the retail and the release date they should be dropping on april 29th for a price of 110. next up we got the alaylee may collab on the air journal one comfort now there's actually also like a whole apparel collection I made sure to throw up the shoe as well as the apparel. And I think all together, it's pretty hard. I like the colors used. And I did see a good bit of hate on this shoe right here. I think the colorway and the color blocking is solid. I think the shoe is solid. The problem is that this is on a Zoom Comfort instead of a regular Air Jordan 1 High. If this was just a regular Air Jordan 1 High, same color blocking, same everything, these joints would go. There'd be no problem. But the Comfort has just that weird look around the ankle collar that is just, you really, to me, I just would never wear this shoe with shorts. I know it's not that much different, but this would be a shoe that I always would wear with jeans. Other than that, this is very, very close, pretty spot on with the regular Air Jordan 1. But listen, I ain't here to tell you how to feel. If you don't like the shoe, you don't like the shoe. That's cool. But I think in general, all together, the collection is fire. And I am going to be trying to go for the Alayli May tee. It's like that cream tee says Jordan. I'm going to see if they're going to be releasing any of that stuff in unisex sizing because I do want the tee. And I might, might check for the shoe. But again, I think these are dropping on the 22nd on Nike sneakers. Another Air Jordan one for this week. I was going to speak about it last week, but I ended up not talking about it. And I'm glad I kind of waited because some pictures of the actual shoe did pop up and that is this seafoam pair of Air Jordan 1 High OGs. As you can see, it's a very, very light kind of pastel green. You got white and then you have these multicolored laces. I'm gonna tell y'all right off the bat, if I cop this shoe, the laces are probably gonna get swapped. That's just based off the pictures. Who knows in person, I might like it. But again, I gotta keep it a buck with y'all. This seafoam colorway to me is not necessary. It is not a need. Sure, the materials definitely look nice, but these photos are not making me say, yo, I'm gonna need these when they drop. These photos are saying, eh, you know, another Air Jordan 1, simple colorway. You know, they'll sell out or wherever, they'll do the job, but I don't know if I'm too pressed with this pair. But this is another fresh leak, so no other info than, well, they're on the way. Getting back into some dunk news. This first one is gonna be a women's exclusive, small feet gang exclusive, and that is this purple pulse pair of Nike Dunk Lows. When I seen this shoe, it reminded me of the cafe or the cafeteria in my dad's old job where it had like that weird like purple and blue line through it. 
I'll put an image up here. So you see the image, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But that's kind of what the side panels reminding me of. It kind of just looks like purple and white wallpaper. Definitely not gonna be one of my favorite dunk lows that I've seen recently and no release date on these just yet, but we do have these official photos, so expect them soon. Another dunk leak that we got that is definitely way more my speed is this joint right here. Now there's not even a name for this shoe at all yet. It just has a peace sign on the back. It looks to have like a yellow suede, black suede, some extra white stitching, so extra white embroidery on the mid panel. White swoosh and more of that stitching at the back heel with the deboss peace sign back there this again is more my speed and something that i'm actually going to be looking for whenever they do drop this is another fresh leak now we do have one more dunk to talk about and this is going to be the worst of these three that i'm talking about and it's these shits right here now these could have easily been on a light basuda but i decided to keep them off of there but these are like the willy wonka dunks very very colorful I mean, just looking at them, I would assume that this would be like a GS grade school size dunk, but who knows, could be a women's joint small feet gang. We just don't know yet. We've been seeing a lot of dunks where they're using the mismatched color. And this one, like, I, I don't know. Again, these are like Willy Wonka dunk lows. I'm just not feeling them. Next up, who would have guessed another pair of 350 V2s? Now, this is a newer version of it, and these are being called the MX Rock colorway. Now y'all can see the mock-up up top and then the actual pattern of the shoe on the bottom. Out of all the things that we've been seeing with these newer versions of the 350 V2, like that see-through pair, the mono mesh or whatever those were, not a big fan. I definitely like these ones a lot more. At this point, we already know we're gonna be seeing new 350 V2s until the end of time. And I am not here to just shit on every 350 V2. Now, if it's just a tan one, I gotta do what I gotta do. But the MX Rock joints, not bad. Now the other shoe we have is the Adidas Campus 80 Towley joints. Now these joints right here have been picking up a lot of hype in the last few days. Now, beautiful thing is that the retail on these is only 100 bucks. It's not all over towel material. The eyes on the tongue do color change. I believe like they're UV sensitive. So when the light hits them, they turn red. You can see the eyes, they turn from white to red. It's a good shoe. It's a good 420 shoe for sure. Only problem is with all the hype building, and especially with how crazy them bad bunny joints went, unfortunately, I think the resellers and everyone else who ain't looking for these for the toe is definitely gonna be looking for them. So if you do want a pair, good luck. Me personally, this won't be a pass. I might try for Maui Wowies, but I'm not super pressed for that one either. The next shoe we got is the one I mentioned a little while ago, but we do have a supposed release date as of right now, the Eric Emanuel pair of the Form Highs, the 84 joints. They are gonna be dropping on April 23rd. Now this shoe right here is part of the McDonald's All-American collection. Obviously you guys can see from right here. And this right here is a way better McDonald's collab than some of the other stuff that we've seen recently i don't gotta get into it y'all know what i'm talking about they did their job so if you are looking for this shoe or any of this clothing collection should be dropping april 23rd and again it's an adidas form high this next one we definitely talked a lot about but we do have an update the release date for the british khaki travis scott sixes should be on april 30th and as far as retail pricing goes for this shoe it should be 250 off the hip. That's all I'm gonna say. That should be the date. If anything changes, I will definitely let you know. Okay, it is time to get into this week's official Basuda of the week. No, there is no light Basuda. We just got two for you. The double Basuda pack is here. Let's get into it. First up, we went in on one of these shoes before. Now I'm seeing that there's a whole collection of these shoes and still this collab makes no sense to me at all. The first piece of Basuda for this week goes to Reebok on the Reebok Kamikaze Candyland. This Candyland shit, it, it just makes no sense to me. We get collab after collab after collab, but the Candyland one is just one that has been throwing me. I know I called them dunks, the Willy Wonka dunks earlier, but these shits right here for sure are some Willy Wonka Reeboks, some Willy Wonka Kamikazes. Now, I don't know which one is worse, the polka dot toe pair of questions or the Kamikazes. Y'all let me know. Both of them is just terrible, bro. Basuda Garbanzo Beans 
Garbola juice. Now, next up for the second piece of Basuda for this week. The first time we seen this shoe, it was a shitty pitcher, a shitty leak pitcher, and I kind of let him go. Said I wasn't a big fan, didn't say too much about him. Now, they are part of the official Basuda of the week, and this goes to Supreme and Nike on the Air Somebody Max 96. Blam, y'all see him right here. Y'all know I am a sucker for the clear panels on shoes. Usually the clear panels work for me, especially on forces. I got two pairs, the Invisible Women's and the Shibuya joints, the Halloween joints. Clear panels, love them. But I now see that it only takes too much on the wrong shoe to make these shits look like some barbershop specials. And I feel like that's what we have run to on these right here. In my opinion, that camel pair of 96s look like some shit that you would have seen when you were looking at some spongebob dub zeros right next to the spongebob dub zeros you would have seen the fugazi supreme air max 96s right there next to them i don't know man the supreme logo for these does not help them at all and as far as the basuda of the week goes that is gonna be it and y'all know what to do leave three words down below in the comments to describe the Willy wonka kamikazes or these barbershop special Supreme 96s. Listen, get these shits off the screen because we need to go ahead and get back to the heat, bro. Now, if them Travis Scott 6s don't drop this month, I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't drop until next month. The biggest release is going to be the Ama Manier pair of the Air Jordan 3s. Now, if you want this shoe, I believe the raffle is going on right now for everyone on their site. Y'all can check that out. Now, there was a women's only raffle where I believe you had to go in store, show your ID, and only enter your size, which I mess with. So y'all already know I am going to be trying for a pair. I have already entered in the raffle, so we'll just have to wait and see how it goes. But in my opinion, this is a for sure cop. Another big release for this month on April 24th, those bright blue pairs of 700s are supposed to be dropping and remember retail is going to be 240 instead of 300 on these new pairs we already know how crazy the sun yeezys went and i still don't have a pair of suns but i will be trying to get a pair of these bright blue joints for retail if it came down to me having to spend the extra chips off the hit for either the blue or the sun I'm going to cop the sun over the blue every time, but the blue is clean. For the next one, we're going to get back into that big leak, big rumor. Take any of this info with a grain of salt. But we are supposed to be getting five different colorways of the Travis Scott Air Max ones later on this holiday season. Now, y'all see the photo right here, and all of these pictures are mock-ups. None of these are the actual shoe. But these are what some of those colorways should be looking like. I mean, from these five colorways right here, I'd probably be most interested in the third pair and the fifth pair down. The thing is, at this point, the only info we have is that there is a pair of Cactus Jack Air Max 1s. We just don't know how many or when they're dropping. We just know that there are some, and they will be dropping at some point. Now, another big story. It is rumored, rumored once again, that in August of this year, we will be seeing another restock of the OG Wave Runner Yeezy 700. So, if you still don't have your Wave Runners, there should be another chance for you to get them. Now, as far as right now, it should be sometime in August, and I'm interested to see if they're going to cost 240 or 300. I would not be surprised if that when they do the Wave Runners, they bump that price back up to 300 because that's what they used to cost when I mean the original pairs dropped. Now, some of the biggest news we got this week is finally confirmation from JB themselves or whoever put out these official photos. The Lightning Air Jordan 4 is returning this year. Now, the date should be August 7th of 2021. Retail should still be 190 but we finally have confirmation. There has been leak after leak after leak after leak about Lightning Air Jordan 4s returning, and then nothing ever happened. They never came out. After a lot of speculation, yes, the Lightnings are finally going to be dropping later on this year. And for me, y'all already know it is a 1,000% cop. I still have my Thunder 4s, and I need a pair of Lightnings. So whenever this shoe decides to drop, I will be copping it. And I wouldn't be surprised since we already got these official photos so far out from the expected release date that there could be a shock drop. But as far as the releases go for this week, that is it. As always, let me know if y'all cop anything down below in the comments 
or did you save all the money in the pockets? Remember, that is always a good option. Make sure y'all drop a like on this bid. Sub up if you haven't already and finesse the bell as well. And remember, new sample look see sneaker is available right now it will only be up for a limited time so if you do want a pair they are there for you to grab them for an easy dub much love to all the fam followers and of course supporters you guys will follow me on instagram twitter soundcloud twitch the twitch is bullet rc by the way here there blasey blah of course well i got no shoes on me right now so no, i don't feel like grabbing those right now so bullet rc and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. It's time for me to go edit. I'm going to see you all on the next one. Much love. Peace. If you come here and try to take some, there's a lot more where that came from. And it really ain't no thing. I got some up here in this thing. I just dropped a jig in my Red Bull and it really gave me wings. Yeah, yeah, up and away. Y'all should have seen this shit coming in May.